Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Almost as soon as the Time article went online, Chris Nielsen heard about it. My phone just exploded um, with text messages and with emails on the phone. Nielsen is the bishop of the Parley 7th Singles Ward, singled out in this article for its lopsided numbers. I think the demographic thing is the demographics. The numbers are the numbers. Out of 771 members, 59% are women and 41% are men. But. Uh, I think there's a lot more than just pure numbers that, that, that plays into the crisis, as, as, as he's pointing out. And in Bishop Nielsen's ward, the numbers are actually starting to even out. Since he became bishop three years ago, the number of men in the ward has increased by 10 percent. We have more men returning to the church uh, than we have leaving. They really encourage, I think people coming back to church and the missionary effort has been really powerful. I think it, there's a great um, spirit of people coming back to church. And those returning are finding this ward has perhaps a different focus than the singles wards they remember. When I think of a singles ward, I think of all of the talent and time and energy that can be spent on others and making other lives better. Service, not marriage, is what this ward focuses on. I really like this, the goal of this ward, which is service. Egan Metcalf and Brent Derricott chair the ward's service committee. Which is currently at about 185 people. About 65 of those people serve, are actually placed within other local wards, so local wards and branches that might be short-staffed. A big part of their service includes community outreach. Every Sunday, a group from the ward helps out with the Calvary Baptist Church's Fill the Pot program in Pioneer Park. And then we have uh, about nine service teams that once a month do a service project in the community, sometimes with Volunteers of America, sometimes with um, other organizations. My goal in life, I just want to love people and I want to serve people. I'm serious, like I, I mean, I want to get married and have kids, like for sure. Um, but I, I really want to just develop, keep developing and learning and serving people, loving people. Relief Society President Mandy Hackett agrees. I mean, I have a great life being single and I'm, I do want to be married, but at the same time, I'm not waiting for that around. Like I, I live my life to the fullest and I think that um, a lot of the women in our early society and in our wards do live to the fullest. And Bishop Nielsen says that's the part of the story the Time article missed. What I got from the Time article is they're focused on all the sadness. The article also tried to tie all the reasons for the so-called dating crisis just to the uneven numbers. They're as varied as there are individuals. There's no certain categories of people. That's what I've learned in the last while of working with this great group of people is, is that it's all individual as to why they're not married. And even though more and more LDS singles are delaying marriage, they're still getting married. We kind of focus on who's not getting married. It's kind of fun to see the number of great announcements coming through. So far, Bishop Nielsen has received more than 230 wedding announcements from members of the ward. Don't have this, the world's crashing in on me because I'm not married by a certain date. It's just not true. There'll be different timing for everyone. And blessing to me as a bishop is that everybody's not married before they're 31 or I wouldn't have this opportunity to have right now.